Bande ham, Shiguro, Shiata, Parakam lam, Shigurun, Vaishnavam, Sya, Shirupam, Sagrajatam, Sagana, Raganatam, Pitam, Tam Sajivam, Sadvaitam, Sabadutam, Parijana, Saitam, Krishna, Chaitanya Devam, Shirana, Krishna Paran, Sahagana, Lalita, Shivishakam, Vitam, Sya, Omagyana, Timuranda, Sya, Gyananjana, Shilakaya, Shakshuru militam yena tasmai shigura venamo. Gurva bistam supurakam guraganara sisha sambushitam. Chintya chintya samasta veda nipunam shirupa patanugam. Govinda abidam ujwalam. Maratanum bhaktyan vidam sundaram. Bande vishwagurun shah divyad bhagavad prem no ibijapradam. Devam divyad tanum suchandavada nam balarka chelanshitam. Sandra Nanda Puram Sareka Varanam Vairagya Vidyamburim Sri Siddhanta Nidhim Zubakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Varam Bandaitam Shubaram Mareka Sharanam Nyashi Swarashi Dharam Bansha Kopatarubyas Chakripa Sindhu Bhavija Patita Nam Pavanibyo Vaishnabhibyo Namonama Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gora Tavishe Namo So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Translation and Commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada this is Madhya Lila, chapter 20, The Lord Instructs Srila Sanatana Goswami. Text number 120. Sadhu Shastra Kripai Jari Krishnon Mukha Hoi Se Jiva Nishtare Maya Tahare Jadoi If the conditioned soul becomes Krishna conscious by the mercy of saintly persons who voluntarily preach scriptural injunctions and help them to become Krishna conscious. The conditioned soul is liberated from the clutches of Maya who gives him up. Daiviyesha gunamai mama maya duratyaya mam eva ye prapajyante mayamitam tarantite This this divine energy of mind, consisting of the three modes of material nature, is difficult to overcome. But th those who have surrendered unto me can easily cross beyond it. Maya mugda jivar nahi swata krishna gyan jivare kripaya koila krishna beda puran. The conditioned soul cannot revive his krishna consciousness by his own effort. But out of causeless mercy, Lord Krishna compi compiled the Vedic literature and it supplements the Puranas. Shastra Guru Atma Rupe Apanare Janan Krishna Mora Prabhu Trata Jivara Hoi Gyan The forgetful conditioned soul is educated by Krishna through the Vedic literatures, the realized spiritual master and the super soul. Through these, he can understand the Supreme Personality of God as he is, and he can understand that Lord Krishna is his eternal master and deliverer from the clutches of Maya. In this way, one can acquire real knowledge of his conditioned life and can come to understand how to obtain liberation. How to attain liberation. Veda Shastra Kohe Sambandha Abhideya Prayojan Krishna Prapya Sambandha Bhakti Praptyara Sadan The Vedic literatures give information about the living entity's eternal relationship with Krishna, which is called Sambandha. The living entity's understanding of this relationship and is acting accordingly is called Abhideya. Returning home back to Godhead is the ultimate goal of life and is called Prayojan. Abhideya nam bhakti prema prayojan purusharta shiromani prema mahadan Devotional service or sense activity for the satisfaction of the Lord is called abhideya because it can develop one's original love of Godhead, which is the goal of life. This goal is the living entity's topmost interest and greatest, and greatest wealth. 
Thus one attains the platform of transcendental loving service unto the Lord. Krishna Madhurya Sevananda Praptira Karan Krishna Seva Koryan Krishna Rasa Ashwadan When one attains the transcendental bliss of an intimate relationship with Krishna, one renders service to him and tastes the mellows of Krishna consciousness. And one will taste Krishna Ras, the mellows of Krishna consciousness. Ihate drishtanta jaiche daridrera gare sarvagya shiduka deki puchayeta hare. The following parable may be given. Once a learned astrologer came to the house of a poor man and seeing his distressed condition questioned him. Tumikeni duki tomar achi pitridan tomarina kohila anyatra chadila jivan. Astrologer asked, Why are you unhappy? Your father was very wealthy, but he did not disclose his wealth to you because he died elsewhere. <clears throat> Sarvagera bhakye kori danera udeshe aiche veda puran jive krishna upadeshe <coughs> Just as the words of the astrologer Sarvagya gave news of the poor man's treasure, the Vedic literatures advise one about Krishna consciousness when one is inquisitive to know why he, why he is in a distressed material condition. Sarvagyara bhakti muladana anubandha sarvashastra upadeshe shri krishna sambandha By the words of the astrologer, the poor man's connection with the treasure was established. Similarly, the Vedic literature advises us that our real connection is with Sri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. Sarvagyara bhakti muladana anubandha Sarva Shastra Upadeshe Shri Krishna Sambandha. So here's the Sambandha. The Vedic literatures are advising us of this treasure of our real relationship with Krishna. By the words of the astrologer, the poor man's connection with the treasure was established. Similarly, the Vedic literature advises us that our real connection is with Shri Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. Bapera dana ache, gyane dana nahi pai, tabi sarvagya kohe tare praptira upai. Although being assured of his father's treasure, the poor man cannot acquire this treasure by such knowledge alone. Therefore, the astrologer had to inform him of the means whereby he could actually find the treasure. Estani ache dana jadi dakine kudibe. Mima rula baruli utibe dana paibe. The astrologer said, The treasure in this, is in this place, but if you dig toward the southern side, the wasps and drones will rise and you will not get your treasure. So if you dig on the southern side, there'll be many bees, many wasps, and they will, they, uh, they will all start attacking you and you will not get your treasure. The astrologer said, the treasure is in this place, but if you dig toward the southern side, the wasps and drones will rise and, will, and you will not get your treasure. Paschime kudibe, paschime kudibe taha jaka ekhoi, se vigna koribe dane, if you dig on the western side, there is a ghost who will create such a disturbance that your hands will not even touch the treasure. Uttare kudile ache krishna ajagare dananahi pabe kudite gilive sabare. If you dig on the northern side, there is a big black snake that will devour you if you attempt to dig up the treasure. Purvadike tate mati aupakudite danera chari paribeka tomaraha tate. However, if you dig up a small quantity of dirt on the eastern side, your hands will immediately touch the pot of treasure. 
The Vedic literatures, including the Purana, state that according to the position of the conditioned soul, there are different processes. Karma Kanda, Jnana Kanda, the yogic process and the bhakti yoga process. Karma Kanda is compared to wasps and drones, insects, that will simply bite one bite if one takes shelter of them, or if one digs on the southern side, they will immediately arise. Jnana Kanda, the, spe the speculative process, is simply like a ghost who creates mental disturbances. Yogic, the mystic process, is compared to a black snake that devours people by the impersonal cultivation of Kaivalya. However, if one takes to Bhakti Yoga, he becomes quickly successful. In other words, through bhakti yoga, one's hands touch the hidden treasure without difficulty. The goal of the revealed scriptures and Vedic injunctions is Krishna, as he himself says in the Bhagavad Gita, Vedais cha sarvairaham eva vedya. Since the Vedas enjoin one to search out Krishna and take shelter at his lotus feet, and since no Vedic process but devotional service will enable one to do this, one has to take to devotional service. According to the Bhagavad Gita, only the bhakti process is said to be definitive. Bhaktiamam abhijanati. This is the conclusive statement of the Vedas, and one has to accept this process if one is serious in searching for Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In this connection, Srila Bhakti Sananta Saraswati Thakur gives the following statement. The eastern side represents devotional service to Lord Krishna. The southern side represents the process of fruit of activity, karma kanda, which ends in material gain. The western side represents jnana kanda, the process of mental speculation, sometimes called siddhi kanda. The northern side represents the speculative method, sometimes known as the mystic yoga system. It is only the eastern side, devotional service, that enables one to attain life's real goal. On the southern side, there are fruit of activities by which one is subject to the punishment of Yamaraj. When one follows the system of fruit of activity, the material desires remain prominent. Consequently, the results of this process are compared to wasps and drones. The living entity is bitten by the wasps and drones of fruit of activity and thus suffers in material existence birth after birth. One cannot become free from material desires by following this process. The propensity for material enjoyment never ends. Therefore, the cycle of birth and death continues and the spirit soul suffers perpetually. The mystic yoga process is compared to a black snake that devours the living entity and injects him with poison. The ultimate goal of the yoga system is to become one with the absolute. This means finishing one's personal existence. But the spiritual part and parcel of the Supreme Personality of God it has an eternal individual existence. The Bhagavad Gita confirms that the individual soul existed in the past, is existing in the present, and will continue to exist as an individual in the future. Artificially trying to become one with the Absolute is suicidal. One cannot annihilate one's natural condition. A yaksha, a protector of riches, will not allow anyone to take away riches for enjoyment. Such a demon will simply create disturbances. In other words, the devotee will not depend on his material resources, but on the mercy of the Supreme Lord who can give, who can give real protection. This is called Rakshishyatiti Vishvasha, or in the Bengali poetry, Bhakti Vinod Thakur Shananagati, Avasya Rokive Krishna Vishvasa Palan. A surrendered soul must accept the fact that his real protector is Krishna, not his material acquisitions. Considering all these points, devotional service to Krishna is a real treasure house for the living entity. When one comes to the platform of devotional service, one always remains opulent in the association of the Supreme Lord. One who is bereft of devotional service is swallowed by the black snake of the yoga system and bitten by the wasps and drones of fruit of activity, and he suffers consequent material miseries. Sometimes the living entity is misled in trying into trying to merge 
into spiritual existence, thinking himself as good as the Supreme Lord. This means that when he comes to the spiritual platform, he will be disturbed and will again return to the material platform. According to Srimad Bhagavatam, Yenye Rabindaksha Vimukta Maninas Tvayasta Bhavad Avishuddha Buddhaya Aruya Krishrena Paramparam Tata Patanti Ado Nadrita Yushmad Angraya. Such people may become sannyasis, but unless they take shelter of Krishna's lotus feet, they will return to the material platform to perform philanthropic activities. In this way, when spiritual life is lost, this is to be understood as being devoured by the black snake. Aichi Shastra Kohikarma Jnana Yoga Chaji Bhakti Krishna Basahoi Bhakti Tare Bhaji the, real, the revealed scriptures conclude that one should give up fruitive activity, speculative knowledge, and the mystic yoga system and instead take the devotional service by which Krishna can be fully satisfied. Na sadayati mam yogo na shankyam dharma udava na svadhyaya stapastyago yata bhaktir mamorjita the Supreme Personality of God Krishna said, My dear Uddhava, neither through Ashtanga Yoga, the mystic yoga system to control the senses, nor through impersonal monism or an analytical study of the Absolute Truth, nor through study of the Vedas, nor through austerities, charity, or acceptance of sannyas, can one satisfy me as much as by developing unalloyed devotional service unto me. Bhaktiham ekaya graya Shradiyatma Priyasatam Bhakti Punati Manishto Bhakti Punati Mamnishta Svapakan Api Sambhavat Bhaktiham Ekaya Graya Shradiyatma Priyasatam Bhakti Punati Manishta Svapakan Api Sambhavat Being very dear to the devotees and sadhus, I am attained through unflinching faith and devotional service. This bhakti yoga system, which gradually increases attachment for me, purifies even a human being born among dog eaters. That is to say, everyone can be elevated to the spiritual platform by the process of bhakti yoga. Ateva bhakti krishna praptya rupai abhideya boli tare sarva shastrigai. The conclusion is that devotional service is the only means for approaching the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This system is therefore called Abhideya. This is the verdict of all revealed scriptures. Dana Pile Jai Che Sukha Bhoga Falapai Sukha Bhoga Hoite Dukha Apani Palai When one actually becomes rich, one naturally enjoys all kinds of happiness. When one is actually in a happy mood, all distressful conditions go away by themselves. No extraneous endeavor is needed. Tai Chi Bhakti Fale Krishna Prima Upajai Prima Krishna Svada Hoyle Baba Nashapai. Similarly, as a result of bhakti, one's dormant love for Krishna awakens. When one is so situated that he can taste the association of Lord Krishna, material existence, the repetition of birth and death comes to an end. Daridyanasha bhava koi, daridyanasha bhava koi, primera falanoi, prima sukha boga mukya, prayojana hoi. The goal of, of love of God it is not to become materially rich or free from material bondage. The real goal is to be situated in devotional service to the Lord and to enjoy transcendental bliss. So these, here we heard the idea or the inception of Abhideya, uh, which is to engage in devotional service. And then hear about the goal, <coughs> which is prayojan. Let's see, I'll read. Ateva Bhakti Krishna Prapjara Upai Abhideya Bolitare Sarva Shastri Gai. This is about Abhideya. 
the process of devotional service. The conclusion is that devotional service is the only means for approaching the Supreme Personality of God. This system is therefore called Abhideya. This is the verdict of all revealed scriptures. And then about Prayoja and the goal, Taridyanash Bhavakoi, Primara Falanoi, Prima Sukha Bhoga Mukya, Prayojana Hoi. The goal of love of Godhead is not to become materially rich or free from material bondage. The real goal is to be situated in devotional service to the Lord and to enjoy transcendental bliss or transcendental happiness. Veda Shastra Kohe Sambandha Abhideya Prayojan, Krishna Krishna Bhakti Prema Tina Mahadan. In the Vedic literatures, Krishna is the central point of attraction and his service is our activity. To attain the platform of love of Krishna is life's ultimate goal. Therefore, Krishna, Krishna's service, and love of Krishna are the three great riches of life. Vedādi sakala shastri krishna mukya sambandha taragyane anusange jai maya bandha In all revealed scriptures, beginning with the Vedas, the central point of attraction is Krishna. When complete knowledge of Him is realized, the bondage of Maya, the illusory energy, is automatically broken. Vyamohaya chara charasya jagatas te te purangamash tam 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 eva e devatam paramikam jopantu kama vadi Siddhante Punar Ekeva Bhagavan Vishnu Samastagama Vyapareshu Vivechana Vyatikaram Niteshu Nischiyate. There are many types of Vedic literatures and supplementary Puranas. In each of them, there are particular demigods who are spoken of as the chief demigods. This is just to create an illusion for moving and non moving living entities. Let them perpetually engage in such imaginations. However, when one analytically studies all these Vedic literatures collectively, one comes to the conclusion that Lord Vishnu is the one and only Supreme Personality of God. Mukya Gona Briti Kimva Anvaya Vyatireke Vedara Pratigya Kevala Kohaye Krishna Ke. When one accepts the Vedic literature, by interpreting, pardon me, when one accepts the Vedic literature by interpretation or even by dictionary meaning, directly or indirectly, the ultimate de declaration of Vedic knowledge points to Lord Krishna. Kim virate kim achaste kim anuja vikalpayet iti asya ridayam loke nanyo mad veda kaschana Mam virate virate mam vikopya poyate yaham itavan sarva vedarta shabda ashtaya mam bidam maya matram anujante prati sidya prasidati. Lord Krishna said, What is the purpose of all Vedic literatures? On whom do they focus? Who is the object of all speculation? Outside of me, no one knows these things. Now you should know that all these activities are aimed at ordaining and, and setting forth me. The purpose of the Vedic literatures is to know me by different speculations, either by indirect understanding or by dictionary understanding. Everyone is speculating about me. The essence of all Vedic literatures is to distinguish me from Maya. By considering the illusory energy, one comes to the platform of understanding me. In this way, one becomes free from speculation about the Vedas and comes to me as a conclusion. Thus, one is satisfied. These two verses are quoted from Srimad Bhagavatam. When Uddhava asked Krishna about the purpose of Vedic speculation, the Lord informed him of the process of understanding the Vedic literature. The Vedas are composed of Karmakanda, Jnanakanda, and Upasanakanda. One who analytically studies the purpose of the Vedas understands that by Karmakanda, sacrificial activity, one comes to the conclusion of, uh, of 
Gyanakon, the speculative knowledge, and that after speculation, one comes to the conclusion that worship of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is the ultimate. When one comes to this conclusion, one becomes fully satisfied. Krishnara Sarup Anda Krishnara Sarup Ananda Vaibhava Apar Chid Shakti Maya Shakti Jiva Shakti Ar. The, the transcendental form of Lord Krishna is unlimited and also has unlimited opulence. He possesses the internal potency, external potency, and marginal potency. Vaikuntha Brahmandagan, Shakti Karya Hoy, Sarup Shakti, Shakti Karya Krishna Samasrai. The material and the spiritual world are transformations of Krishna's external and internal potencies, respectively. Therefore, Krishna is the original source of both the material and the spiritual manifestations. Dashame dashamam lakyam ashrita ashraya vigraham shri krishnakyam param dhamma jagadhamma namami tad. The tenth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam reveals the tenth object, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is the shelter of all surrendered souls. He is known as Sri Krishna and he is the ultimate source of all the universes. Let me offer him my obeisances unto him. This is a quotation from the Bhavartipa. This is a quotation from the Bhavarta Deepika, Sridhar Swami's commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam. In the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, there's a description of the Ashraya Tattva, Sri Krishna. There are two tattvas, Ashraya Tattva and Ashrita Tattva. Ashraya Tattva is the objective and Ashrita Tattva is the subjective. Since the lotus feet of Sri Krishna are the shelter of all devotees, Sri Krishna is called Paramdhamma. In the Bhagavad Gita, it is stated Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram, Paramam Bhavan. Everything is resting under the lotus feet of Krishna. In Srimad Bhagavatam, it is stated Samashrita ye Parapalava Plavam Mahat Param Punya Yasho Murari. Under the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, the entire Mahatattva is existing. Since everything is under Sri Krishna's protection, Sri Krishna is called Ashraya Tattva. Everything else is called Ashrita Tattva. The material creation is also called Ashrita Tattva. Liberation from material bondage and the attainment of the spiritual platform are also Ashrita Tattvas. Krishna is the only Ashraya Tattva. In the beginning of the creation, they are Ma Vishnu, Garbo Dakshai Vishnu, and Shiro Dakshai Vishnu. They are also Ashraya Tattva. Krishna is the cause of all causes, Sarva Karana Karanam. To understand Krishna perfectly, one has to make an analytical study of Ashraya Tattva and Ashrita Tattva. Krishna Rasaru Vichar Shuna Sanatan Advaya Gyan Tattva Braje Brajendra Nandan, O Sanatan, please hear about the eternal form of Lord Krishna. He is the absolute truth, devoid of duality, but present in Vrindavan as the son of Nanda Maharaj. Sarva Adi, Sarva Amshi, Kishora, Shekar, Chidananda Deho, Sarvashraya, Sarvishwar. Krishna is the original source of everything and the sum total of everything. He appears as the supreme youth, and his whole body is composed of spiritual bliss. He is the shelter of everything and master of everyone. Ishvara Paramam Krishna Sachidananda Vigraha Anadiradir Govinda Sarva Karana Karanam Krishna, who is known as Govinda, is the supreme controller. He has an eternal, blissful spiritual body. He is the origin of all. He has no other origin, for he is the prime cause of all causes. Svayam Bhagavan Krishna Govinda Paranam Sarvaishvarya Purna Jara Goloka Nityadam. The original Supreme Personality of God it is Krishna. His original name is Govinda. He is full of all opulences, and his eternal abode is known as Goloka Vrindavan. 
Etejam sa kala pumsa krishna stu bhagavan svayam indrari vyakulam lokam mridiyanti yuge yuge. All these incarnations of Godhead are either plenary portions or parts of the plenary portions of the Purusha avatars. But Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself. In every age, He, he protects the world through His different features when the world is disturbed by the enemies of Indra or the, by the, uh, the demons. by the Asuras, who are known as enemies of Indra. All these incarnations of Godhead are either plenary portions or parts of the plenary portions of the Purusha avatars. But Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself. In every age, He protects the world through His different features when the world is disturbed by the enemies of Indra. Jnana Yoga Bhakti Tina Sadhanara Bhashe Brahmatma Bhagavan Trivida Prakashe there are three kinds of spiritual processes for understanding absolute truth. The process of speculative knowledge, mystic yoga, and bhakti yoga. According to these three processes, the absolute truth is manifested as Brahman, Paramatma, or Bhagavan. Vadanti tat tattva vidas tattvam yadzgana madvayam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaniti shabhyate Learned transcendentalists who know the absolute truth called as non-dual substance, Brahman, Paramatma, or Bhagavan. This is a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam. Those who are interested in the impersonal Brahman effulgence, which is not different from the Supreme Personality of Godhead, can attain that goal by speculative knowledge. Those who are interested in pra practicing mystic yoga can attain the localized aspect of Paramatma. As stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Ishvara Sarvabhutanam Riddesher Juna Tishtati. The Supreme Personality of God is situated within the heart as Paramatma. He witnesses the activities of the living entity and gives them permission to act. Brahma Anga Kantitara Nirvishesha Prakashe Surya Jena Charma Chakke Jyotir Moibashe. The manifestation of the impersonal Brahman effulgence, which is without variety, is the rays of Krishna's bodily effulgence. It is exactly like the sun. When the sun is seen by our ordinary eyes, it appears to, simply con to consist simply of effulgence. Yasya Prabha Bhagavato Jagad Andakoti Koti Shvasesha Vasudhari Vibhuti Binan Tad Brahmanishkalam Ananda Seishabhutam Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajami. I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord who is endowed with great power. The glowing effulgence of his transcendental form is the impersonal Brahman, which is absolute, complete, and unlimited, and which displays the varieties of countless planets with their different opulences in millions and millions of universes. Paramatma Jeho Teho Krishnara Eka Amsha Atmara Atmahoi Krishna Sarva Avatamsha The para Paramatma, the Supreme, the Paramatma, the Super Soul feature, is a plenary portion of the Supreme Personality of God into His original soul of all living entities. Krishna is the source of the Paramatma. Krishnam Enam Avehitvam Atmanam akilatmanam jagaditaya sopyatra dehi vabhati mayaya. You should know Krishna to, the, to be the original soul of all atmas, living entities. For the benefit of the whole universe, he has, out of his causeless mercy, appeared as an ordinary human being. He has done this by the strength of his own internal potency. So I'm going to. Continue here. Uh, I'm going to, pardon me, stop here, and tomorrow we'll continue. Hari Harai Nama Krishna Jaravaya Nama Hari 
Yarabaya Marabaya Keshavaya Nama Gopa Govinda Ram Shri Madhu Sudan Giridari Gopinata Maranamon Sri Taitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Garanara Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatam Bhatta Raguna Sri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raguna Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bhadan Jao Ente Vignana Shavista Puran Echai Gosai Jar Muitara Das Dastabar Pada Renu Mora Panchaga Pader Charana Sevi Bhakta Sani Bhas Janame Janame More Abila Echai Gosai Jabe Braje Koila Bhas Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Kori La Braka Anande Bolo Hari Baja Vrindaman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriya Hari Nam Sangirtana Kohe Naratamoda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare
ଗୀତାଙ୍କର ହରି ବୋ ହରି ବୋ ହରି ବୋ ହରି ବୋ ଗୀତାଙ୍କର ହରି ବୋ ହରି ବୋ ହରି ବୋ ହରି ବୋ ଜୟ ସପରିକର ଶ୍ରୀ ଶ୍ରୀ ଗୁରୁ ଗୁରଙ୍ଗ ଗନ୍ଧର୍ବିକ ଗିରିଧର ଝୁ କି ଜୟ ଜୟ ଓମ ବିଷ୍ଣୁପାଦ ପରମଂସ ପରବ ଜାକଚାର୍ଯ୍ୟାଷ୍ଟର ସର ଶ୍ରୀ ଶ୍ରୀମଦ ଶ୍ରୀଲ ଭକ୍ତି ସୁନ୍ଦର ଗୋବିନ୍ଦ ଦେବ ଗୋସ୍ୱାଇ ମହାରାଜ କି ଜୟ ଜୟ ଓମ ବିଷ୍ଣୁପାଦ ପରମଂସ ପରବ ଜାକଚାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ଅଷ୍ଟାର ସର ଶ୍ରୀ ଶ୍ରୀମଦ ଶ୍ରୀଲ ଭକ୍ତି ବ୍ରକକ ଶ୍ରୀର ଦେବ ଗୋସ୍ୱାଇ ମହାରାଜ କି ଜୟ ଜୟ ଭଗବାନ ଶ୍ରୀଲ ଭକ୍ତି ସୁନାନ୍ଦ ସରସ୍ୱତୀ ଗୋସ୍ୱାଇ ଠାକୁର କି ଜୟ ଜୟ ଓମ ବିଷ୍ଣୁପାଦ ଶ୍ରୀଲ ଗୋର କିଶୋର ଦାସ ବାବାଜୀ ମହାରାଜ କି ଜୟ ଜୟ ଓମ ବିଷ୍ଣୁପାଦ ଶ୍ରୀଲ ସାଚିଦନାନ୍ଦ ଭକ୍ତି ବିନୋଦ ଠାକୁର କି ଜୟ ଜୟ ଓମ ବିଷ୍ଣୁପାଦ ବୈଷ୍ଣବ ସର୍ବ ବୋମ ଶ୍ରୀଲ ଜଗନ୍ନାଥ ଦାସ ବାବାଜୀ ମହାରାଜ କି ଜୟ ରୂପନୁ ଗୁରୁ ବାର୍ଗ କି ଜୟ ନାମଚାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ଶ୍ରୀଲ ହରିଦାସ ଠାକୁର କି ଜୟ ଶ୍ରୀ ରୂପ ସନାତନ ବାତ ରଘୁନାଥ ଶ୍ରୀ ଜୀବ ଗୋପାଳ ବାତ ଦାସ ରଘୁନାଥ ସଦ ଗୋସ୍ୱାମୀ ପ୍ରଭୁ କି ଜୟ ପ୍ରେମ ଶ୍ରୀ ଗୋ ଶ୍ରୀ କୃଷ୍ଣ ଚୈତନ୍ୟ ପ୍ରଭୁ ନିତ୍ୟାନନ୍ଦ ଶ୍ରୀ ଅଦ୍ଵୈତ ଗଦାନ ହର ଶ୍ରୀ ବାସୁରି ଶ୍ରୀ ଗୌର ଭକ୍ତ ବୃନ୍ଦ କି ଜୟ ଶ୍ରୀଲ କୃଷ୍ଣ ଦାସ କବିରାଜ ଗୋସ୍ୱାମୀ ପ୍ରଭୁ କି ଜୟ ଶ୍ରୀ ଚୈତନ୍ୟ ଚାରିଥାମ୍ରିତ କି ଜୟ ଶ୍ରୀଲ ବୃନ୍ଦାବନ ଦାସ ଠାକୁର କି ଜୟ ଶ୍ରୀ ଚୈତନ୍ୟ ଭାଗବତ କି ଜୟ ବିଶ୍ୱାବରଣ୍ୟ ଜୟ ଓମ ବିଷ୍ଣୁପାଦ ବିଶ୍ୱାବରଣ୍ୟ ଶ୍ରୀଲ ଭକ୍ତି ବେଦାନ୍ତ ସ୍ୱାଇଁ ମହାରାଜ ପ୍ରଭୁବାଦ କି ଜୟ ଅନନ୍ତ କୋଟି ବୈଷ୍ଣବ ବୃନ୍ଦ କି ଜୟ ଶ୍ରୀ ଚୈତନ୍ୟ ସରସ୍ୱତ ମାଧଚାର୍ଯ୍ୟ ବୃନ୍ଦ କି ଜୟ ଶ୍ରୀ ଚୈତନ୍ୟ ସରସ୍ୱତ ମତ କି ଜୟ ସୋଖ୍ୟ ଶ୍ରୀ ଚୈତନ୍ୟ ସରସ୍ୱତ ସେବାଶ୍ରମ କି ଜୟ ଶ୍ରୀ ଶ୍ରୀ ରାଧାକୃଷ୍ଣ ଗୋ ଗୋପି ଗୋବିଧାନ ଶ୍ୟାମ ଖୁନ ରାଧାକୁଣ୍ଡ କଲିନ୍ଦ ୟମୁନ ଜୁ କି ଜୟ ସମବେଦ ଭକ୍ତ ବୃନ୍ଦ କି ଜୟ ଶ୍ରୀ ହରି ନାମ ସଂକୀର୍ତ୍ତନ କି ଜୟ ଅଲ ଦି ଅସେମ୍ବଲ ଦେବତୀ କି ଜୟ ଘୋର ପ୍ରେମନାନ୍ଦ ହରି ହରି ବୋ ଆର ପାବର ଜରା ମହାରାଜ କି ଜୟ